All right, so let's see if I can go ahead and... All right, so if you have a decimal number, we're going to call this point right here 2.5. This is not an intricate um, coordinate plane. I don't have decimals delineated here. So let's say your coordinate is 2.5. I hope you guys can see this. This pen is really thin. 2.50. You would plot the number here. And so in your geometry class, you would have little tickers delineating decimal points. A common standard is to have five between each uh, one numeral increment. Or let's say that your decimal number was zero, negative 0 0.51. And just in case you didn't know, when you have a negative um, on the x-axis, it just indicates that you're moving to the left. I think I think I said negative 0 0.51, I meant negative 0 0.50. So we would say that 0 0.5 is about here, it's about halfway between uh, 0 and 1. So you, you've moved 0 0.5 units to the left, but you haven't traversed in a vertical position up or down, okay? I hope that answers your question. So you can have any number because again, uh, a number line is a line and the definition of a line is a straight path that goes infinite amounts of distance in both directions. So it's definitely possible to have a decimal, okay? All right, let's put this back in here. Again, when graphing a point on the coordinate plane, the y-coordinate tells you how far up or down to travel from the origin. This means that the y-axis um, or the y-coordinate would tell you how far to move from the origin parallel to the x-axis. So sometimes people get confused with this. If a, a y-coordinate, a y-value is telling you how far up or down to travel, you're moving away equidistantly from the x-axis, so you're actually moving away parallel to the x-axis, okay? I just wanted to throw that out there. It's not a major thing to harp on, but I just want to give you guys really clear understanding and perspective on how to navigate the uh, two-dimensional coordinate plane. So look at these examples of points that lie on the y-axis. They all have an x-coordinate value of zero. So first you have zero, two. Again, the x-coordinate has a value of zero because you did not move to the right, nor did you move to the left. But you did move up two units vertically, so you have a vertical position of two. Now we have 0, 4. Again, you did not move left or right. All you did was move vertically up to the numeral 4. And last, for more um, clarity, what if you were to have a coordinate of, with the values 0, with the x coordinate, the x coordinate would be 0, of course, and the y coordinate would be 9. This indicates that you moved upward vertically nine units, okay?